Hey everybody, today's video is on U-turns using full self-driving beta 11.3.1. I am one of the lucky few that received the version ahead of everybody. I think it's because either I have my YouTube channel, uh, number two, I send emails to the beta team, maybe. I never get any replies, by the way. Or three, Elon Musk actually replies to my tweets. He's replied to three of my tweets so far, which is awesome. I should have three shirts made just because of that. But hey, I just wanted to touch on my overall impressions of this version of beta prior to everybody getting it this weekend. It sounds like it's going to be released much wider here coming up very soon. You're probably seeing some feedback on YouTube, some people saying this is a game changer, this is a next level, this is amazing, it's great. You know, there's a lot of people raving about it. I think it's important to keep expectations realistic because it does not operate well outside of California in every situation. Now that's not to say that it's not gonna perform really well in your area, but based on my experience here in Chicago in the Northwest suburbs, it still makes the same mistakes in the same areas. To balance all of that out though, it does do some really nice new things. One of those is it moves away from larger vehicles or vehicles that may be drifting in your lane on city streets. That's a big thing and it feels, there was one moment where I just was going crazy because it was behaving so naturally. It kind of rocks back and forth in the lane and it makes it feel very natural. It makes it feel like it's a human driving the car. It makes you feel at ease, a lot more comfortable. So the behaviors, the little nuances, those have been fine-tuned and it, it's really nice witnessing that. However, it does slow down by mistake for traffic lights that are not applicable to you in your lane. It still slows down for stop signs that aren't even there. Uh, it still makes the same mistakes that it always has made. So don't expect that it's gonna work perfectly. I still have a number of interventions. If you saw my last video on roundabouts, you know very well that it's definitely not capable of handling busy roundabouts. Even roundabouts that don't have a lot of traffic, there's a lot of slowdown still in those. Uh, on highways, it I wouldn't be concerned about it operating erratically or you know making mistakes because I haven't had that happen so far. And I think that's where a lot of the time was spent on refining highways. There was a moment where I took it down into the city and I, I didn't have my uh, all my filming gear, but I did record, and I think I have a segment here I can share with you, uh, where I got onto the highway and there were some overhead X marks. And basically in Chicago area, if a lane is closed, there's an overhead like sign basically, and it, it lights up and it'll say, you can't drive in this lane, it'll be closed down. So the car just passed right by them. I was very nervous that it might slow down, but it did not. So it did, it did just fine there. There are moments where it can't get over soon enough still. That's still a big issue. Uh, so there's definitely uh, some work to do still. But overall impression, I mean, using beta now for, gosh, October. it was October 2021. So October, November, December, January, February, March. That's what, um, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, bad at math. 17 months after using beta for 17 months, it has gotten better. So we have to be optimistic we have to think you know the glass is half full there's a lot of people that are always pointing out the negatives let's focus on the positives if you're a beta tester let's cheer tesla on just think of all the effort that's going into this it's a massive undertaking what other company is doing this work to take a car and drive it in any environment it doesn't matter where what city in all of the usa and canada and be able to have the car take you from point A to point B. What other company is doing that? So this is a, a, a really groundbreaking thing and there's bound to be uh, a lot of hurdles, a lot of uh, difficulties. So we have to give credit where credit is due. So let's uh, continue to focus on the positives, uh, although there's a lot of negatives. But at the same time, let's be realistic and let's not say, hey, this is a perfect system and it's so amazing, it's blowing my mind. and. Yes, you might you may have those moments when you get version 11, but try it out more than once. See how it operates in different environments because I can almost guarantee you that it is going to make mistakes. Here is the video on U-turns. All right, so here we are. This is going to be a very short and quick test. I only tested this once and this was enough to tell me that it's still not capable, unfortunately. Left turn signal goes on and then I get the message, unable to complete maneuver, please assist now. 
Now here for a split second, you do see the tentacle just trying to make that happen. I do press on the accelerator briefly and it starts going forward. It didn't really retain that memory to go around. So I knew right away that I would have to do this manually. Unable to complete U-turn. So I do report it. That voice feature is nice. I think they're doing a voice to text behind the scenes. So from here, I proceed on with the rest of my trip without testing it any further. So what I'm gonna do here for the rest of the video is just take a little bit of an artistic approach and overlay the visualizations on top of this drive. And then the rest of this drive, I test the roundabouts, which you can see in uh, two videos back on my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot so much everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.